Hello and welcome back to my channel. So this is the part two of my uh, my of solving the problems on Venturi meter. So uh, this problem is is also another type of Venturi meter problem, which is uh, based on horizontal Venturi meter. So in this question, we have uh, we we will be having two more parts. So you can be solving many different types of problems. So this is also a different kind of problem. Okay, so in this problem, we, the question is a horizontal venturi meter with inlet dia of uh, 20 centimeter and throat dia of 10 centimeter is used to measure the flow of oil of specific gravity 0.8. The discharge of oil through the venturi meter is 60 liters per second. Okay, find the reading of oil mercury differential manometer. So in this, what is the uh, what is the fluid which is flowing to the pipe? The fluid which is flowing to the pipe is oil. In my previous video, uh, the fluid which is flowing to the pipe is was water. Okay. So the specific gravity of oil is given, which is 0.8. So what is the reading? So from this itself, we can find out that uh, the question is on to find out what is X. Okay. X is is what in my uh, in my last video I said that X is the difference of the heavier liquid. Okay, so, so X is the difference of the heavier liquid in the YouTube. Okay, so now we can solve the problem. So uh, in the beginning, we'll be uh, uh, doing the datas. Okay, so what what all datas do we have? We have D1, okay, which is 20 centimeter. We have uh, D2, which is 10 centimeter. Okay, the specific gravity of oil is given. Okay, so we can take it as SO which is 0.8 which is the specific gravity of liquid which is flowing through the tube. Okay, through the pipe which is 0.8 and the discharge is given. So in this question we have the discharge of oil which is given through the venturi meter which is Q is given. 60 liters per second is given. Okay, now find out the reading which is X is what we have to find out. Okay, and we have CD2 which is 0.98. Now, from the formula, Q is equal to, this is the formula, I hope everybody knows that formula which is CD into A1, A2 by root of A1 square minus A2 square into root 2GH. Okay, so this is the formula. So we have D1. So if we have the diameter, we can find out the area, which is pi by 4 into D1 square because the pipe is having a circle. So the area will be pi by 4 into D square, D1 square, which is 20 square. The answer is 314.16 centimeter square. Okay, do this problem at home and see if you are getting this answer. Okay. So, and D2 is the same formula, which is pi by 4 into 10 square, which is 78.54 centimeter square. So, remember, this is in centimeter. So, if you want to convert to meter, it is point, point 0.2 meter. Okay. Now, SO we have, uh, I think we can substitute it in the formula. Okay. So, this is the formula. So, if we can substitute it in the formula, it, it will be... So this is the formula. So Q is equal to 0.98. Okay. CD is given. A1, A2 is given. 314.16 into 78.54 by root of 314.16. The whole square minus... 78.54 the whole square into root of 2 into g is what is the g is 9.8 meter per second square since we have everything in centimeter even this has to be in centimeter so it is 981 okay and into h now h we have to find out how do we find out h so we have q also is equal to h is what we have to find out what is Q here? Q is 60 liters per second. Since we have centimeter cube, since we have, since we are doing it in centimeter, so this can be converted to, to centimeter, which is 60 into liters to meter is 60,000. 
into 1000. Okay, centimeter cube per second. Okay, so this can be written as 16 into 1000. Okay, now we can find out H here. So if you have any doubts regarding this calculation part, do comment in the comment section so we can do a separate video on, on the calculation part. So we can find out H now. So H, uh, I'm directly writing H, okay. Uh, root H is, again okay, root H is 17 point zero two nine okay and uh, so if we can convert it into the direct edge will be uh, since we are doing the uh, taking the uh, square on both side h is uh, hs 17.029 the whole square which is 289.98 centimeter of what of oil Okay, now the question is to find out x, right? Okay, since we have the specific gravity of of the fluid in the differential manometer is higher than the fluid which is flowing to the pipe, the formula will be what? It will be h is equal to x into sh by so minus 1. Okay, so what is h here? h can be written as h is we found out which is 289 point nine eight is equal to x into sh is how much is the specific gravity of the mercury which is 13.6 by the so which is the specific gravity of the fluid which is flowing to the pipe is 0 0.8 minus 1 and the answer for x will be 18.12 centimeter okay so this is the problem Okay, do this problem at home and if you have any doubts regarding this calculation part, do comment in the comment section so we can do a separate video on that. Okay, and uh, the, all of those who haven't subscribed to my channel, do subscribe to my channel so you can get a clear understanding of the topic. Okay, so thank you.